Hello YouTube, it's your boy Dante with another optimization guide. Today we will be looking at the game Sonic X Shadow Generations. First I will show you some steps outside the game that will reduce stuttering, FPS drops and ensure that you get stable frame times for smoother gameplay. After that I will give you detailed explanation of in-game graphics settings, side-by-side -side comparison of each setting and the sub-settings, their performance cost and also recommend best setting for you as well. So let's get started. To reduce stuttering and FPS drops, just follow these easy steps I show you. First go to your game section inside Steam, right click it and go to its properties, then installed files and hit browse. This will take you where your game is installed. Right click the Sonic X Shadow Generation.exe file and go to its properties. Hit compatibility, check disable full screen optimization and run as administrator. Hit change high DPI settings, check override high DPI over here and then press OK and OK again. Do the same for Sonic Generation.exe as well as that game uses this separate exe file. Also come back to the game properties in Steam and click this toggle button to disable Steam overlay. Along with that write dash tx11 under the selected launch option and then exit the properties window. Also if you are a vsync user you should disable vsync in game and enable it from your GPU control panel as it always works far better than the in-game one. After these steps, you will have no FPS drops and no stuttering in-game as long as your hardware can take it and you will also have very stable frame times resulting in a very smooth gameplay experience. Now let us get to the graphics setting optimization part of this guide. For this I will be using an RTX 3060 Ti with the resolution set at 4K and 120 FPS. When we come to the graphics setting, the first thing is just brightness, which all of you know what it does, so we will not be discussing that. Next is graphics, which again is just a preset that changes all the sub settings. Shadows control the resolution of shadows in game. Here is the comparison of low and high shadows. As you can see, high has sharper shadows than low, but the difference here is very minimal. Going from low to high, the FPS went down from 81 to 76 FPS. I recommend setting shadows to low because the difference is very minimal and something that you will never notice, especially in a fast paced game like this. Frame rate is just setting your FPS cap to either 30, 60 or 120. There is nothing else to show here. Anti-aliasing is the method used to reduce jaggedness and pixelation of 3D models in game. None setting will disable anti-aliasing making it a pixelated mess. FXAA has less pixelation and TAA has almost zero jaggedness. Performance wise going from none to FXA and TAA, the game gave me 85, 82 and 76 FPS respectively. Here I would recommend FXAA because TAA costs more FPS and makes the image a little blurry. Next is ambient occlusion. Normally this method applies shadows to objects in game depending on where the light is coming from. But in this game ambient occlusion is very minor. Only here you can see the small amount of shadows missing below these barrels as if they are floating. Going from none to enable cost me a 7 fps loss. Here I would recommend none setting because again you will never notice the difference during normal play as most of the heavy ambient occlusion related work has been done using dark textures by the developers as you can see here on these huge missiles. Local reflections is actually screen space reflections. This method applies reflections to reflective surfaces in the game. As you can see here, the none setting has no reflection at all. Going from none to enable, I went from 83 FPS to 80 FPS. Here I would recommend enable setting because the difference between the image quality is huge and none makes all the water in the game looks very flat in the game. 
bloom is used to add a glow effect to objects that light an area like these candles and lights over here. Low and high only controls the intensity of this effect. Performance wise high cost me 3 fps more. Here I would recommend low setting as again the difference is way too minor to be noticed unless compared side by side like this. Volumetric lighting is an effect that applies fog and sun rays in game. For me it was very hard to find spots in this game which actually had this effect. Even after finding some rare spots there was literally no difference in visuals but the performance cost was 6 fps. So here I would recommend low settings. After this, the rest of the settings are pretty basic, like everyone knows what resolution does. Then there is resolution scale, which applies the percentage of resolution you have selected above. Screen mode just lets you play the game in full screen, borderless or windowed. Then there is monitor which only applies to multi-monitor setups. And in the end we have vSync which is used to reduce screen tearing. And here is the difference between high and optimized settings. To be honest, the optimized settings are just local reflections enabled with FXAA and everything else set to the lowest settings. As you can see, there is almost no visual loss in the optimized part but the performance boost is big going from 83 FPS to 112 FPS. And this brings us to the end of the guide. If this video was helpful to you, kindly like and support the channel by subscribing. Good luck! and happy gaming.